Today's details on this F-150 Lightning. This is their brand new electric truck. It's the Lariat Edition, and it's my first time actually working on one of these electric trucks. So I'm really excited to kind of check it out, test the paint out, and see what kind of cool new features they might offer. They have these dark carbonized alloy wheels. We have a geometric gray ion fine satin metallic front grille. We've got some nice trim pieces, although they did include the piano trim pillars, which I'm not a huge fan of. Temperatures currently are right around freezing and rain is actually in the forecast. We do have to get this vehicle prepped for ceramic coating. And you can see we have already signs of rail dust on this paint, even though it's a brand new vehicle. But we're not gonna be able to do our standard methods of washing this with free flowing water. We're actually gonna have to do a rinseless wash because it's too cold for me to wash the vehicle outdoors. Definitely have to dial in our piano trim pieces. We will be coating all of the glass as well for the customer. So we need to do a good water spot treatment. I can see already we've got just some mineral deposits that have accumulated. So we'll get those prepped. But here's where it gets really cool. Check this out. It's like a black denim almost. I mean faux. We've got, it looks very similar to the plastics that are in Chevy trucks, so we'll be very careful, especially a lot of the newer plastics that are in vehicles. You don't want to hit them with an APC because there's actually like a clear coat on top of this that you can actually kind of burn the clear coat. So you want to use a mild cleaner. We've got weather tech liners. That's fantastic. We're going to do just a quick interior for the customer. Our leather doesn't look bad. It looks like a nice quality leather computer screen on this thing is legit. That's bigger than my kid's iPad. Take a look at this. You open it. That's cool. I'd hate to see that break though. I'd have to repair it. When are manufacturers going to stop putting this type of trim on areas that get heavy abuse? I, they look great clean, but it's a truck. Why on earth would you put a piano trim type finish on a step up. I get it, sometimes on these pillars they look sharp and these, the best way to protect these is gonna be PPF for a lot of people that maybe you are really rough with your vehicles. These can get scuffed up and swirled up very quickly and they're very sensitive to chemical staining as well. Let's fire her up. I mean, it's electric. Is it just gonna go <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. We're in reverse. We've got 360 view of the vehicle. This thing is so quiet. I mean, now it's kicking on. We got her in. But it's a tight fit. We're getting this prepped for the McKees 37 Graphene Pro Coat 2.0. Outside, this vehicle did not look this dirty, but now that I have it in the garage, I can see we have a little bit more work ahead of us than I had originally thought. So we need to do proper prep. That's the most important thing when you're applying any sort of coating. But rinseless washes, sometimes some people don't equate that as a proper way to prep for ceramic coating, especially when you get to the chemical decon phase. What can happen sometimes, and if you've never done a chemical decon, you're spraying a product onto your panel that's going to react with any sort of ferrous metal that's on the panel. And you'll kind of notice that purple bleeding phase. That's the chemical reaction that's going on. That helps to loosen any bond that there might be with rail dust. Then you can come in with a clay bar, clay towel treatment, kind of go over that surface. And then typically you do this outdoors with free flowing water. You would rinse all of that off and from there dry and keep moving with your prep. But what can happen sometimes is that chemical decon often is a very thick, sometimes even a viscous product, uh, and it can leave a lot of residue behind. And that's the number one enemy to any sort of coating. You don't want any residue on your panel, be it soap, polish, oils, or chemical decon. So you really want a squeaky clean surface. Aaron brought his new Hydra 
rinseless wash out for me to test out the other day. And we did a couple different things on my test hood back here. I actually did a heavy compound with a microfiber, which it's gonna leave behind a lot of heavy polish residue, polish oils and stuff like that. I sprayed it on the panel and it actually left behind a squeaky clean surface. And that's clean. There's no residue or anything. That is squeaky clean. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what you want when you're doing a panel prep. Yeah, that's perfect. The Hydra, when you put it at a proper dilution ratio, can actually be used as a panel prep wipe. So what's great about that is oftentimes when you're polishing panels, especially if you might have some soft or finicky paint, sometimes you can dial in the paint with your polish step, but even just the mere fact of coming in with a microfiber to wipe off that residue, it can re-scratch the paint. When you have a rinseless wash, that's going to actually help encapsulate any sort of residue or dirt, and it's just gonna give you lubrication. So it's a really great way to wipe off polish residue but the fact that it takes it a step further and actually is being used as a panel prep wipe is very impressive. That's, there's only a couple of rinseless washes that can make that claim. But the other thing that was interesting is we tested this out. We sprayed on some of his new prototype and it's actually this right here. It's the Furies. Now it's not out yet. He's planning on it being out in probably the next month or so. But we sprayed that onto the panel you could see that it kind of dripped down nice and evenly. It wasn't a really thick product. But then we took some more of our rinseless wash, mixed at more of our panel prep dilution ratio, which it was kind of a little bit heavier, maybe like a cap to uh, what would be the equivalent of 32 ounces. So it was a little bit heavier than what he would typically uh, recommend, which is like a, a one ounce to one gallon. Actually removed all the residue from that chemical decon and it left behind a squeaky clean surface. And even if you were a little nervous about that, follow up again with a second rinseless wash and a fresh towel. And we had a completely stripped squeaky clean surface with a rinseless method. So that actually is really exciting for someone like me who I'm doing a lot of ceramic coating prep in a garage where I may not have access to free flowing water. So for those of you that maybe you have a home-based business or you don't have a drain in your shop or you know some sort of free flowing water in an enclosed area and you have to kind of do a rinseless method for detailing and you want to do a chemical decon, the Furies, great product. As soon as he has it out, we'll put the link to that product down below, but we're gonna demonstrate for you guys that technique today. Anytime you have a product like this, you know, sometimes we might feel like you can go overkill. You really don't need a lot. So one capful is the equivalent of a half ounce. If we have one ounce per one gallon, and this is, let's just say it's three gallons, we're gonna need six capfuls for this right here. One, two, three, four, it has a really juicy, like kind of grape bubblegum flavor. So it smells really great in here already. And we have, I would say a gallon and a half. We're gonna end up doing four capfuls here. And you can see it's just gonna spray a nice even mist all over everything. Go ahead and get to work. If you've never done a rinseless wash before, we're gonna start at the top, work our way down, working panel by panel. We're using the Rag Company Ultra Soft Black Sponge to apply our rinseless solution to the panel. Gonna dry it off panel by panel. You can already see a huge difference just in cleanliness, but this is a very safe but effective way to wash your vehicle in the comfort of your garage. Even though we will be polishing this vehicle, I don't want to have to do a lot of polish work, so we are pre-treating the panels with a rinseless solution that's going to help soften and loosen the dirt and just give us a safer wash. Here's a fun little find. Mm. We're also going to do a rinseless wash on our tires and wheels. We're going to pre-treat with Phoenix EOD the Kraken. This is his all-purpose cleaner. We have this mixed up at his standard dilution ratio for tires and wheels and using various soft brushes and microfibers. This is actually a really quick and effective way to clean and maintain tires and wheels throughout the winter. I know a lot of times this is the area that people struggle with when it comes to rinseless washes. I actually did a video on this technique a while back. So for those that want maybe a little bit more of a look into how I do this technique, I'll put the video link for that down below. But this is how I standardly take care of my customers' vehicles in the wintertime when it's too cold to work outside, and it works really well. Makes a little bit of a mess, but nothing you can't work around with the autofiber 
shop mop. You can see it's kind of separated. I'm gonna give it a good mix. It's gonna get a really nice pink, pearly look to it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. This is the first time that I have ever done a chemical decon with a rinseless. I can see we've got some rail there, so we should have some reaction with this product. I'm just gonna do this trunk first to see how easy or not easy is it. And instantly, I smell that peppermint. It smells like a really strong piece of gum. A little bit of that undertone of the sulfur, but very manageable. We're already getting reactions, which I love to see. So three quick things that make this iron remover unique in comparison to some of the other ones on the market. First, you're not going to have to use as much because of how thin it is. It's got a little bit of viscosity to it, but it sprays nice and evenly across the vehicle. Secondly, it has a really nice scent, almost like a peppermint slash wintergreen scent once you spray it out of the bottle. Thirdly, it's gonna be very affordable. We're talking in the $40 to $50 range per gallon. What I actually have is two buckets right here. We're gonna use our rinseless wash and our clay towel to do our decontamination. And then we actually have fresh product. That way I'm not grabbing anything uh, that is, you know, a lot of that residue. And we're just going to have a fresh towel and wipe everything off and then dry. And even if we have to come in with a second towel, uh, we can do a second wipe down to try to go after any more of this uh, chemical decon. So that way we don't have residue. Left. Is it a coating that smells like mint? Can you smell that? Yeah. What does it smell like? It's like mint, but then like lemon. It's like, like lemon lime. Lemon lime. No, it's like mint with a little bit. You got a different whiff of it, but it's not bad, is it? Like if I have this on my clothes, you're not gonna be like go shower. So if my kids approve of the smell, then that's huge brownie points for me because normally they make me shower immediately after using most iron removers. I think we had a lot of ferrous metal on this truck. It's like a robin's egg. I'd say this stuff works pretty well. Even though this is a brand new truck, we have a crazy amount of reaction going on this hood. What I'm seeing so far from this iron remover is very impressive. We let that sit for about a minute or two. You don't want to let it dry on the panel. We sprayed our rinseless solution from our spray bottle, came in with our clay towel that had been soaking in our rinseless solution, and then used about two microfiber towels to wipe up all of that residue. I didn't put those towels back into the bucket. We had a constant fresh one, a fresh side every time. So that way you're not putting any of that iron remover back in your rinseless solution, and it's going to just help you be able to remove as much of that residue as possible. But this method worked very efficiently at being able to wash, do a chemical decon and a manual decon of the vehicle, wipe off all the residue, dry everything very quickly. I think in about 45 minutes total, we were able to get this entire process done from start to finish. Now we're going to prep our glass for our glass coating. First, we're going to clean the glass inside and out with invisible glass. Even after cleaning, we still have the water staining on this glass. I did try a few water spot removers that were more acid-based and they honestly didn't make a dent. And so we had to step it up with aggressiveness and actually use a glass polish. One of my favorites to use for that is actually Pinnacle water spot remover. I've used this product for years when I have kind of a severe amount of water spots that we need to remove using a three inch Lake Country purple wool pad and some of that solution we just kind of massage it in, go over it with a wet microfiber to remove the residue, then we cleaned it again with our invisible glass and you can see we've been able to perfect our paint, remove any of the hard water stains or the chemical stains and now we can go ahead and proceed with applying the invisible glass glass ceramic coating. Now let's go ahead and shift gears over to our severely swirled piano trim pieces. Now sometimes piano trim pieces can be difficult to really finish down well. 
We're gonna use Papa Cut Diminishing Compound and Fabulous Finishing Polish from Phoenix COD. Anytime you have severe swirls like this, you are going to have to do a two-step to remove the defects because any pad or product that you use to do heavy correction is going to create a lot of haze and micro marring on this type of surface. So because we did have quite a bit of damage from the dealership, we did our two-step with these two products. They worked very well together. If it's not bad condition, you can get by with just the fabulous finishing polish but you can see the two step that we did here with both of these products did a really great job of just dialing in these pillars and giving us a flawless finish look now when it came to polishing the paint i found the lightning paint actually pretty pleasant to work with Obviously we had some major swirls on our piano trim pieces, but our paint didn't have anywhere near the amount of defects that our pillars had. So that says to me that this paint is probably more on the medium side and not very soft. So we were able to tolerate a little bit more of an aggressive pad with our yellow foam pad from Rupes, but we used our fabulous finishing polish to do a quick paint enhancement. And we were pretty much able to get paint perfection with just two or three quick passes. We also used the rinseless wash to remove any of our polish residue and do a panel prep wipe before we came in and applied our ceramic coating. Now I've done a couple videos on this product in the past, so we're not gonna necessarily get into that in this video just for the sake of not being constantly repetitive. But I know sometimes as detailers, we can feel limited with the services we offer based on the weather conditions. And a lot of times detailers will cancel when the temperatures are too cold. And so hopefully this demonstration can help some of you have the confidence to be able to not cancel those appointments and still be able to do proper prep for your customers vehicles tires wheels and wheel wells paint decontaminating polish prep even applying our glass coating we were able to do all of that in the comfort of the garage with just a couple of gallons of water and our rinseless solution so hopefully this has been able to encourage some of you that maybe you were struggling in this area and if you were encouraged give us a thumbs up but we're going to put the link to all the products that we use down below as well as any sort of videos that we've done in the past demonstrating these particular products but thank you guys for watching if you have any questions about any of the products that we used or just have any questions about detailing in general by all means let me know in the comments section down below thanks to aaron for sending me these products to demonstrate for you guys but please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell off to the side to stay tuned for future videos that we have coming out, as well as let me know any suggestions of videos that you guys would like to see in the future. But we'll see you guys very soon. Have a wonderful day.